Hi, just Lake. I'm your host, Acharya Kumcharak. So, in this year, most of you guys already know that annual Kajumanam is impossible to help as usual in this situation. Um, but Kajumanam organization is trying their best to carry on this important continuation Manam prayer program and with their best effort and hard work. Finally, first time ever, the online Asia Kajumanam is coming soon. Uh, that means, as for us, devotees and uh, fellow Dharma friends, we are getting a wonderful opportunity to reconnect our heart towards Dharma. Even though we are in, even though we are in the middle of this great deal of epidemic crisis, even though some of us might in difficult situation, I essentially want to say, uh, do not be disheartened, do not give up your hope, and most importantly, do not lose your faith in uh, Buddha Dharma Sangha, which is, uh, which is why this time I really hope and appreciate if all you could participate and join Kajimanam online. Let's pray together, keep our faith strong and stand for the world. So friends, this was uh, sort of my announcement. And now if you have some time, uh, let me show you some of my opinions and reasons that this year we should do Manam more than ever before for this obvious reason. But before that, if you guys don't know what exactly Manam is, a Manam is Tibetan syllabus, which means aspiration or well wishes. Really, Manam can be anything thing that comes from your pure heart. It can be well wishes for your dear ones. It can be your, it can be mother's well wishes for her child. As I said, in Tibetan Buddhism, aspiration prayer, aspiration prayer or great prayer, prayer gathering. The event of Manam in Tibet was established back in around 14th century. All the four major schools in Tibetan Buddhism has their Manam prayer, uh, Manam prayer occasion in every year, which is mainly focused on longevity life of their root gurus, a special teachers, and well-being for the world. Though the Kajum Manam begins around 15th century in Tibet, where the seventh Karmapa, Shuddha Jamso, established the tradition of a great prayer gathering. In India, the Manam tradition began in 1983, uh, when two great lamas in the Kaju tradition of Tibetan Buddhism, Kalu Rinpoche and Boga Rinpoche, began holding annual prayer gathering at the Mahabodhi temple in Bodh Gaya. During the Manam prayers, many of the devotees participate from all across the world with their strong faith and devotion. So without any doubt, Manam is beneficial for the better world because it is led by uh, precious gurus, because it's done by great gathering of sanghas, because it is prayer of countless devotees. The accumulation merit of the Manam is immense. It is blessed by Buddha and Bodhisattvas from 10 directions of the universe. It helps with uh, overcome with one suffering. It, uh, it heals disease. It brings peace upon conflicted mind. So I encourage you to join with us. Together we pray, together we stay strong, stronger than we could ever be. And together overcome with this epidemic, damaging the global economy affecting a livelihood of individual's life and together we rise, rise way higher than this crisis. Let's pray for the people who is on the front line, who is trying hard to keep us safe. Let's pray for the doctors and nurses who is working tirelessly by day and night. Let's pray for the people who is bravely fighting for this, fighting with this virus. Let's pray for the peaceful soul, those who lost their life. And let's pray for the survival. Let's pray for the soldiers who protect, protect our countries. Let's pray for the leaders who serve the citizens selflessly. Let's pray for the firemen, the police officers, and the teachers. Let's pray for the safety of our parents, 
husband, wife, daughters, and son. Let's pray for everyone. Pray for better environment. Pray for the nature. Pray for the wildlife. Pray for the world peace. Now last but definitely not the least. Let's pray for long life to all our uh, water masters from all the sects and doctrines. And particularly Kamakadi lineage, Solomon 17, Yaman Karma Park, and his four Hudson's. And all the Rimbuches and teachers. May you always be healthy and free from obstacles. May your precious Dharma teachings prevail on the earth. Thank, thank you everyone for your precious time. I'll leave the links and details of all the related information in the description below. So please go ahead and check it out. And yeah, if you find this content useful, please uh, help us to share this and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Take care and stay safe.